All right, so today I'm here with a Finables uh, case uh, for my iPad, and then I have one to do a giveaway on. So first I'd like to thank Findables uh, for sending me these two cases. They sent me this one for my iPad, and they sent me one for the iPhone 5 to do a giveaway. Um, so I'll be giving away this iPhone 5 case for uh, a giveaway this week. Um, so please subscribe and comment on this video. Um, so I'll just put this one over here and I'll explain how it works because they all work the same. Alright, so first of all, the Findables case is, uh, has a QR code on each case and they're individually, um, they're unique. They're, every single QR code is different. Now, on the back of the case, um, you have like instructions how to set it up and all that stuff. Um, I'm going to step you through how to set it up, sort of. Um, there's three different modes. There's social, um, business, and lost. So let's open this up and I'll start explaining it. So I've already set mine up. Um, second, let's put this over here, put this box back together. Right, I'll use this as a base here. I'm just gonna move my camera up a little bit. Okay, so the case is pretty thin. Um, the, it's got a really nice feel to it. Now I'll show you the QR code here. So right there, that's the QR code. They're individually made, so like they're all unique. So <clears throat> you download an app onto your. Um, device, iPad, iPhone, whatever you want, like uh, I have mine right now on my Samsung Galaxy Note 2, and it just clips on there, and it does have uh, room for a smart cover, I'll grab my smart cover, so it does have room for a smart cover on the side, so you can still have your smart cover on there, um, now, I don't think I ha do have it installed on my iPad, the actual app itself. So I will install that now and I'll be right back. Actually, um, I'm going to install that later uh, just because it's going to. Um, I ended up pressing update all my apps, so it's going to take a while. So I'm just going to show you how to use it with the thing. So there's the QR code. Now, I haven't set up anything yet, so I'll show you guys how to set up this. I'm just going to move my camera here. Right. So, you can add your job job title, add a biography if you want to, add a social network, add a link to um, a website, and then for your business, it's a virtual business card basically. Um, so you can add your name, title, company, address, mobile, work, fax, email address, Skype account, website, and other. So after you've done that, you can scan this QR code this QR code right there and um, all your information will be on it so you'll easy easy way to switch um, info between each other so if you want to just switch some info in and out and you guys don't want to copy all that down because that will probably take like five minutes to get all that stuff down and typed in there and it's all set up and stuff so you can do that um, then you have social so this one will um, add you right on Facebook I'm pretty sure that's what that does is uh, you add your social network so like Facebook and then you just add your name mobile number email address and the same thing and they can just scan that and it uh, brings them right to your Facebook page instead of searching for a million different well I guess there's not many Cortlands but uh, searching for say a million different Johns and you just find the right one right away and then um, the lost mode, which is pretty cool. Say so if you lose your iPad or your iPhone or whatever you have, you can put on like a hundred dollar reward or fifty dollar reward, and then you can put in your phone number, alternate phone number, because if, if you lost your phone, then you're going to need a different phone number and your email address. So someone can scan this, and they can get your contact information and say, hey, I have your phone, you, or I have your iPad, or whatever. Yeah, you said you. you you have a ward on it for fifty dollars so what it does is brings them to a website which is the findables website and it uh... brings them right there has all your information on it so they can 
see you or call you and email you and it's uh, pretty easy so if you lose your phone I guess and whoever's going to be faithful enough and actually scan that and honest and return your phone or your iPad or whatever um, it's a good feature for that um, so that's that's basically it. Um, the app is free. You just download it or download it, and then you can scan them. See, like this is the uh, scanner part here. So like, uh, there's the scan scanning. So like, it just lined up, scans it. It's even got like a little thumbprint you can line it up on, but it doesn't really matter. It has a history of um, what you scan. Um, <clears throat> And you can set up multiple, multiple. So, like, say if you have an iPad one, uh, iPhone one, you have them all there. So there's, um, so there's, uh, where is it here? Account info. So you have like a bunch of different devices. So you can have different devices set up on this one ca uh, account. So like right there, I have my iPad one set up on that. So, and uh, I wish they made one for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 because I definitely use it, but they don't as of now. Hopefully they will. Um, so yeah, there's the findable cases from Findable. Um, you can get these cases locally where I'm at. You can get them at a source. Um, and that right now, I know you can't get the iPad one right now uh, from source, but they sent me the iPhone or uh, the iPad one. Sorry, they sent me the iPhone five one that you can get from source. And that's this one right here, and it does the exact same thing. Uh, you have to tear off the label so you can scan your Q QR code and uh, you just set it up. It's pretty simple. You can do a lot of things with it. It's kind of useful. I have one of those. I have one like that on my um, my case. I just put a sticker except this isn't in a C tag. See what I was thinking was they could integrate these two because these are just this is just basically a sticker too almost and you can integrate those two together and have an NSC and a QR code and then it would be uh, you say if you have an Android or an NFC enabled phone you can just swipe for the info if you have a uh, other phone that doesn't support NFC you can just use your QR code so I was thinking about maybe doing that but I don't know that'd be kind of useful but anyways yeah there's that case um, please uh, like I said comment and subscribe um, I am doing the giveaway on this case right here so please uh, if you're interested in this case comment on how you will use it and um, how you think this will be useful in everyday life. Thanks for watching.